Later. Okay, this guitar is a workhorse. Starting from top to bottom, the locking tuners combined with the hip shot bridge gives it a good tuning stability. The jumbo stainless steel fan frets are great for drop or down tunings. The C-shaped neck is so comfortable to play, and the satin finish in the back make it so smooth to navigate. The neck joint is so comfortable, and the access for the high fret is amazing. Pickups are crisp and clear, which is great for recording. Pickup selector and knobs are sturdy, and the hip shot bridge is comfortable for the palm. But, and there is always a but. Maybe it's only with the one that I bought, but the main issue that I had was with the sharp edge of the nut. And if you are making a chord progression and you have to go fast to the first fret, you will hurt yourself for sure. Also paint, there is a thick layer of paint in the neck joint that wasn't filed properly and makes the neck wavy in that level. Plus, I found one spot with a paint blemish and another spot with dust covered with paint. And there is a ding in the headstock and another one in the front of the body, which is not part of the open pore finish. Also, the logo? I can't see the logo if I don't get 10 cm away from the headstock. Although, when I check the demo video of Ola, you can see it from far away. As I previously said, this is a workhorse and I can survive with this kind of bots. But for 1k plus out of the box, it can be annoying for some people. Anyway, this was my honest review for the A1.6 DBOP fun fret. If you want to hear it in a full mix, click the video here. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you feel like subscribing, please click on my face here or the bottom down there. Hope to see you in another review. Bye bye.